Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. We've done some videos on propping your boat. We did uh, like a whiteboard chat or coffee chat. Uh, I'm out on my boat. I gotta run across the lake to the launch. And I figured this is a perfect time to take you through how I would run my boat to decide if my prop is right. And one of the biggest factors, we talked about it before, is having a tachometer. So I have a digital tachometer. I'll flip the camera around in just a second here when I'm running it. And then I'll do a voiceover to talk about what we're doing because I don't think you're gonna be able to hear me real well when I'm full throttle. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my boat, it's just me in here. I do have a full tank of gas, so 30 gallons of gas. That's okay. I'm gonna get this thing running wide open throttle and then I'm gonna trim up. So on my trim and tilt, on my handle, I'm gonna trim it up till I'm at my optimal speed. I'm gonna have my speedometer, I just have a fish finder with GPS, so we'll run that. And when I hit my max speed, my RPMs are gonna be, we're full throttle, trimmed up to where I'm not blowing out or having cavitation or ventilation issues, but that optimal speed and cruising. I got a nice big lake here. We're on Lake Bel Air in Northern Michigan. I can open this up, run it wide open, and that's gonna tell me where my RPMs are. And then I can determine the prop from there. So we'll talk about that in a second, but first things first, let's run this baby. Uh, we have on this boat, it's a 200 horsepower Suzuki back there, uh, four stroke, it's just uh, about a year old. We got a little over hundred hours on it. So that's what I'm running, but the rules all apply. If your tachometer is working, which you need a working tach to do this, then everything else will be the same. Mine's digital, yours might be analog, that's okay. It all works out the same. Let's go for a boat ride. Here's what you'll be looking at when I'm running. Don't mind that this doesn't work, I just have to hook power to it. This is my tachometer. So we got, we're idling right now, 650. This is my trim gauge. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'll try to make it visible for you. But we're gonna start trimmed all the way down because what I want you to see is when we're running full wide open and I trim up, you're gonna see this little guy go up. I want you to see where that goes and how that changes the RPMs because I will climb in RPMs when I do that. The last thing is my speed is over here. It's that 2.64 right now. It's hard to see there, but that will also change a little bit as we get wide open. I'm not so concerned about speed. I'll tell you what that comes out to, but I'm gonna keep the camera on my tachometer here and what I'll be doing, this is my trim and tilt. So I'll, once I'm wide open throttle, I'm gonna push this up with my thumb. And I usually on this boat, usually end up optimal and it's just me in here, we'll be about halfway. This gauge is only trim. Trim is the bottom, I don't know how many degrees, but it's just that bottom, uh, that lower torque, or I guess higher torque, but it's that slower speed, that's actually trim. I think this is gonna help explain the whole trim versus tilt thing. I'm all the way down right now. This is trim. That's the end of my trim range. When you hear it, change gears. Ready? That is tilt. So my trim gauge only reads to right there. Anything beyond that, this would be all the way up on my trim gauge. Anything beyond is just tilt. This motor kind of has two gears where it's slow and has the power to be able to trim when I'm going fast. And then when I go to tilt, it comes up almost twice as fast. Your motor might just keep going slow the rest of the way up, but your trim range is still gonna be only from here down roughly. Hope that helps explain the whole trim versus tilt thing. Once this goes up to here, to the top, I've actually got my tilt left on the motor and it can go a lot farther. So keep in mind, that's just the bottom, however many, you know, maybe it's 10 or 12 degrees of trim. That's what you're gonna be looking at. You get to see my fuel flow. It's gonna be up pretty high when we're wide open. Here we go. I'm gonna get it going and you will see 
when I hit about 5,000 RPM, I am gonna trim, so you'll see that come up. I'm gonna trim it up about halfway, then I'm gonna pin it all the way throttle down, then I can trim out a little more from there. Here we go. So we're building up in throttle here, and then I'm gonna trim out just so I get up on my ride plane a little better. And then I'm gonna hammer down the rest of the way. So those RPMs are gonna climb. Now when the RPMs climb, it's from trimming out even farther. So I'm watching my speedometer, watching my tack, making sure I'm not blowing out. Once I reach that top speed, it's not going up anymore. I look at my RPMs and that's maxed out. Let's talk about what we saw there. We got it up on plane. We trimmed it up a little bit around 45 to 5,000 RPMs. And then I hammered down and then I kept adjusting my trim up just little taps at a time until my speed was maxed out and before I blew out with my propeller. So I was trimmed pretty high. I did tickle, I saw 40 mile an hour, which I've never got this boat to do that before. I added lifting strakes, if you've seen that video on this boat this spring. So obviously that did improve my overall speed because I had only ever gotten it up even with the same prop to 38, 39 mile an hour. So really happy there. This motor is made to run somewhere in that 55, 5600 up to 6100 right in that ballpark for wide open throttle trimmed out one passenger, just me and the boat. That's what this is designed to run at optimally. So I'm a little high. We were up near 6,300 RPM, trimmed out, maxed out. Didn't hit the rev limiter, but it was getting up close to it, I'm sure. This prop that's on this bow is a 15 and a quarter inch diameter by a 19 inch pitch. So I have a couple options here. This motor actually runs up to a 16 inch diameter and I've played around with it a little bit. The reason I have this prop on right now is because we were up north, we were towing tubes, uh, wakeboards, and we had, I think, 10 or 11 passengers in the boat. So we needed that low end torque, that smaller diameter, a little bit lower pitch, something to lift the boat better and keep my RPMs up so I didn't wear out the motor in a bad way. So I wanna make sure I keep those RPMs high, uh, especially in an empty boat, but then when I'm running with a bunch of people in the boat, I need to make sure that my RPMs aren't dropping way below that range uh, if I'm trying to go wide open throttle. So that's what's on this. If I were gonna adjust, I would probably, if I kept the same diameter, that's 15 and a quarter, if I go up one more inch in pitch to a 20, I'm probably gonna be, I'm gonna drop about 150, 200 RPMs. So I'm gonna be right around 6,000. Will I pick up speed? Maybe. It's with a pontoon, even a tritune that's planing, it's not a guarantee if I'm actually gonna gain a whole lot of speed. We kind of hit this point where we can get RPMs higher and we don't necessarily gain speed and we get to a point sometimes where we can get our RPMs down a little bit, go up in pitch, and we don't really see much change in speed. I like to be on the high end. This is personal preference of the RPM range when it's an empty boat. That way, when I load everybody down, I still have the torque to pull a tube or a wakeboard or behind the boat with a bunch of people in the boat. Or if I just wanna cruise 25 mile an hour, I can keep my RPMs high and I won't be putting unnecessary load on the motor. So that's where I'm at. This prop works great for a bunch of people on the boat. If it's just Corey and myself and the dog and we're cruising, then I usually swap the prop out for its uh, 16 diameter by an 18 and a half pitch, which I know it's confusing, but when we make that big jump, three quarters of an inch diameter, it changes a lot because with that, with just me or just the two of us in the boat, I only get about 5,800 RPM, 5,850, but it allows me to cruise at 4,800 RPM. I can do about 30 mile an hour. So I like that with this prop, I don't get the benefit of that cruising speed so much. Uh, I, if I am at 4,800 RPM, we're usually only doing mid to low twenties. So that's my observations. That's how I test out a prop. And this would go for a fishing boat, a pontoon, tritune, anything. I need to get the boat up on plane, trimmed out a little bit, hammer down wide open, maximize that trim, 
get your RPMs as high as you can without blowing out and getting your speed maxed out. And then that's where you start. From there, go back to our prop video, the coffee chat or the whiteboard chat, and you can make those proper adjustments to get your RPMs up or down. I'm on the high side. Maybe your RPMs, you're only turning 5,200 and your motor's made to run 6,000. You need to pay attention to that because now you've got too much pitch of your prop and you need to lower that pitch to gain RPMs. Take a look at that other video. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, we're heading home right now and we don't get to enjoy this beautiful day, but we'll be back.